Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Recently I got to test drive the compact and sporty Honda Fit Sport in a manual no less. My first driving impressions and what I think. Well that's what's coming up. The Honda Fit's been the entry level for the brand for some time now and our recent test of the Fit Sport with a 6-speed manual transmission showed that you can still have fun and style in an efficient package for under $20,000. Slotted just above the base model Fit LX and priced at $18,395 including destination charges, the Sport brings a significant step up in style and features distinctive character over all the other trim grades. The name says it all with key visuals like 16-inch alloy wheels, fog lights, a full ground effects package with color accents and a beefier exhaust tip. Inside are an upper level of trims including some very comfortable cloth seats, leather wrap steering wheel and shift knob, all with red accent stitching. If you step up to the CVT, you also get steering wheel mounted paddle shifters too, even in a compact car like this. I thought the interior was comfortable and spacious for its size. Being a relatively tall car, you get a seating position that's tall and upright, somewhat similar to many of the small crossovers that are out there. Not quite like the HRV, but you're definitely sitting up on top of this car. Also very cool is the rear magic seat that folds in a variety of ways to allow a lot more versatility than you might expect. Most importantly, the material and switchgear quality here is top of class as I've come to expect from Honda. The audio system's upgraded as well, a 7-inch touchscreen, 180-watt system with AM, FM, and full Bluetooth connectivity, but no Sirius XM. But there is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Like all Honda Fits, the Sport is powered by a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine that offers 130 horsepower, 128 if you opt for the CVT. In the Fit, it provides power adequate enough to be fun around town with a level of refinement that I've come to expect from Honda. Acceleration around town is aided by the close ratio gearing of its manual transmission, but its 4.62 to 1 final drive ratio means that the engine winds out at high RPM at highway speeds. Those who do a lot of road trips will definitely want the CVT with its better gearing. When it comes to fuel economy, the manual tester I had was rated at 29 MPG City, 36 MPG Highway, and 31 MPG Combined. In my week with it, I got 30 MPG Combined with the AC on at all times. Not bad, but you can see improvement if you choose the CVT. The fit handles with a level of finesse and refinement that's a step up from some in the class, though it does have pretty basic suspension hardware and brakes. Its larger 16-inch wheels with lower side profile tires take some credit for its sharper feel than the LX. At its price, I was pretty impressed with its value, offering a healthy uptick in features over the base LX model, and it does offer a significant uptick in character and style. All right, my big takeaway here is that the Honda Fit Sport really does offer something that's affordable and a little bit fun to drive. This is a class that offers a lot of great cars for this price, but not a lot of excitement, and that's really kind of what I got here. So, uh, geez, you know, if you're shopping on the cheap and you want something that's a little bit extra, have a look. If you like what you saw, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking right there, or if that's too big a commitment, click right there, see your latest video, then subscribe. Either way, stay tuned.